Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and this is part of our Sapphire HD5850 Extreme video card review. We are going to look at the Sapphire Trix Tweak Utility, which can be used for overclocking and fan control and can be downloaded on Sapphire's website. We are also going to listen to the various fan speeds and compare the fan noise that is in the Sapphire HD5850 Extreme video card. This Sapphire HD5850 video card has a non-standard cooling solution unlike the old 5850 which has a blower fan. The Sapphire 5850 Extreme has the same cooling solution that was used on the Sapphire HD6850 which is a lot quieter than the normal blower fan for the 5850 series. And as you can see on this page, uh, it displays all the information for your card shows the card name, which series it is from. Let's zoom in the camera so you can read a little bit better. And of course, from the Cypress family. And the die size and all the other information. And of course, you have your, uh, your driver version at the bottom. And your clocks, which I'm guessing is the default clocks. And you can save it in the BIOS uh, or the report, uh, create a report for it. And if you notice that on the, zoom out again, just right there above the, uh, just on the upper right hand corner, you can see the temperature, current temperature of your card. And the next tab is actually the overclocking tab, where you can zoom in again, since uh, you can see it much easier see the core clock and memory clock can be adjusted here either through the sliders as well as the volt GPU voltage you can type it in manually or you can uh, slide it left or right or you can even use these uh, plus and minus signs in to increase it by by one megahertz at a time in case you make a mistake there's a reset button at the bottom and there are also profiles, there are four slots in total where you can save, load, or let's try saving the default one. Although you don't really need to because you can just hit reset. Let's try, uh, let's try changing it to the Sapphire 5850 Toxic specs, which is, if I call correctly, 1125 MHz in memory and around uh, 765 core. And Let's leave the voltage and just save this. Let's hit apply first. And save. You can see you have options of load, clear, or save. You gotta save it. And it's there. We can just reset and then just click on that again if you want to load it. Load. And see our values have changed. I've actually uh, saved here the maximum overclock I have achieved. Uh, and and which I've also uh, ran some of the benchmarks for it on the review. I've set it in the fourth slot and let's load it. And I actually reached 840 core clock and uh, 1225 memory clock without adjusting the voltage. So uh, let's reset it for now and let's go to fan control. Let's see, let's zoom in so you can. Uh, a little bit of what it looks like. You can see that uh, right now we are automatic. It's 21% at 35 degrees Celsius. And there's option of fixed where you can just adjust it manually. Like say if you want it 50% like constantly, just leave it there. You can see it, it there's no apply button or cancel. Once once you slide it, it you can hear the fan immediately change. Set back to automatic, we'll just go down again. Well, here's the interesting one, the custom one, where you can set, uh, you can see that the left, uh, the uh, y, X and Y axis has a uh, percentage and a um, temperature. Like say if you want it to, you want the fan speed to crank up to 60 per, 60, 60% when it, uh, when the temperature reaches 40. You just say it like that, or you, and you can even set a different point from down there. One, wanna increase it exponentially? You can do that, and it is, uh, there's no apply button, so it's um, applied immediately. And you can see the current fan speed right there. See, it 
automatic. Although we're now we're going actually to listen to the various uh, fan noises. I'm just going to uh, set each one. We we'll start with 21% and uh, increase it uh, 10 by 10 percent until we reach 100 percent so you can hear different fan noises uh, I'm going to set it to 21 to 30 to 40 etc all right I'm not going to talk during the duration of that time so you can hear and compare Let's clear, let's clear all the points first. Actually, you know what? It would be much easier to do this in, in the fixed part. So you can just slide it around. Okay, minimum was 21%. And let's crank it up to. As you can hear, you get, uh, it only begins to it only starts to be to be audible around 60%. It is still very quiet, a lot quieter than the stock 5850 cooling. And from here, I'm going to crank it up to 70 and 80. At 100%, it's very audible. Thankfully, uh, during my testing, uh, the maximum I think I reached was around. Uh, let me check my notes quickly. Uh, at idle, it was actually it would stay at 21% for uh, around 35, 36 degrees Celsius, and uh, for uh, for over oh, that is that is actually for the overclock setting, which is uh, the 840. Uh, 840 mega, uh, 840 megahertz core clock. It actually idled at 36 degrees and 21% fan speed. Still very cool. And at the uh, load, the overclock maximum uh, temperature I reached was 71 degrees Celsius, and the fan uh, was at 59%. So just to, so you can hear it, what 59% sounds like at the most real world automatic fan setting I have uh, experienced. And that is under very heavy OCCT load, which is actually um, is not uh, is a lot louder and uh, hotter than uh, any game can stress your your video card out. Now let's uh, let's back, and then we can see the last tab here. We have the settings tab where you have the option of uh, several options. You can load your overclock. Uh, you can load uh, the tricks on startup, and you can the option. Uh, Start minimized so it doesn't because uh, it's rather big. Uh, it takes up the I'm just to zoom out so you can see the resolution of my screen. This is actually a uh, turn it further. This is actually a 1080 by uh, 19 by uh, 1080 resolution, and still it's a very big uh, software uh, window. I, I, I just I wish uh, Sapphire would have a smaller skin for this or make make this software skinnable so that uh, 
is much more uh, convenient although there is actually a uh, gadget for it I will show it later and I'll uh, then go to the next one uh, option here we have the synchronized cards and multi GPU config and this is uh, default it is checked next is uh, show effective memory clocks disabled by uh, the default and we have the installs Windows sidebar gadget I've actually had it checked I, uh, so I enabled it earlier to, to check it out and uh, let's see show desktop gadgets and try to load that there you go you'll see this pop up asking you to want to install the gadget install it and I'm just gonna move this this, this actually pops up on your sidebar zoom in and see it has uh, a small version of the Sapphire Trex utility you can see uh, all the deals are there, including the uh, core clock. Although you can't adjust any settings here, it just displays uh, information. Let's close that gadget and go back to our software. Then the next is uh, set clock and change. The if you if you notice in our uh, overclocking page, you have to hit apply. In here, you just uh, it sets it automatically. And at the last one is you can uh, the option disabling ULPS. And, uh, and then let's go back and look at the rest of the software. At the top, uh, there's just there's a little. You can tell the version number. Zoom in there. Uh, right, uh, right below the Trix logo. Might be hard to see because it's gray on black, or uh, gray on uh, dark blue. And that's about it. Thanks for watching and uh, you can read the rest of the review at uh, hightechlegion.com.